my name is Lucy and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome and if you are already subscribed, thank you so much for joining me for this video. I have a very exciting video today. It is currently Boxing Day as I'm filming this and hopefully this video is going to be up on Boxing Day as well, which is actually my dad's birthday. So comment happy birthday to my dad in the comments below. For this video, I'm going to be showing you guys what I got for Christmas. I had the most wonderful Christmas with friends and family. My gran is over from Scotland in Dubai with my parents and I, and we had our two lots of closest family friends from Dubai. So there was 15 of us. We had the most amazing Christmas. Make sure to check out my Instagram stories as some of them should still be up. We got Christmas dinner from Jones the Grocer which was insane so thank you very much to Jones and yes it was just an amazing day I hope you guys had an amazing day too and it was filled with lots of love and with friends and family a little disclaimer before I get properly into this video this is in no way me trying to show off I just want to show you guys what I got and I personally love watching these videos mainly because I'm very nosy and also a massive thank you to anyone who got me a present it was so so kind of you and I'm so grateful for everything I've got and I'm aware that I am super super lucky also I'm filming this video in natural light there's a massive um, set of doors behind you guys so hopefully the lighting is going to stay consistent but if it doesn't that is why I'm going to start off with the presents which were from friends and other members of my family which are on this side of me and then I'm going to do the presents from my parents which are on this side and I have a very very exciting big present at the end so make sure you watch till the end to see what that is first I'm going to start with this present which is from Aspinall of London which is super super exciting and I've actually never had anything from Aspinall before this is from our kind of I would say family friends now so it's from Marissa and her mum Anna Marissa and I used to do ballet together and my mum and Anna are really good friends so they got me this beautiful Aspinall wallet kind of card holder thing they got me a Michael Kors card holder last year which you guys will know I use all the time but this is a gorgeous purple with gold hardware it has so many card slots on the back the best bit is it has a bit for change and I am literally obsessed with this I love using card holders because if you sometimes you don't want to take a bag, you can just put it in your pocket and it often frustrates me because I never have a space for change. So this is absolutely perfect. Thank you so much, Anna and Marissa. This was so, so generous of you. Next up is what I got from my Auntie Heather, Uncle Alistair and Abby. So that is my mum's sister and her side of the family. So they actually got me a pair of Nike trainers, which I will insert a photo of here. However, they are currently in the UK because I got them while I was there and I did not have enough space in my suitcase to carry them over just for this video. I'm obsessed with those trainers. They also got me the socks to match, which I will also insert a photo of. They're the socks for the Air Force. And they also got me these this Moo Free selection box and a dark chocolate orange and also a packet of Percy Pigs, which I've already eaten. If you are dairy free, this Moo stuff is incredible. Next up is from my dad's side of the family and from my Auntie Jane, Uncle Scott and my little cousin Lauren. They got me this incredible Becca highlighter. I have used it already, which is why it's open. It is the Becca highlighter in the champagne pop shade. I've wanted this for so long, so I was so, so happy when I opened it. Of course, I wore this on Christmas Day and they also gave me money, so that was super kind of them and thank you so much guys next up is from my friend ellie which you would have seen in my scotland vlogs and she got me this really cute pencil case from oliver bonus it's light gray on this side and dark gray on this side and it has a gold zip and it's just a super handy pencil case or you could maybe use it for makeup brushes and i absolutely love it so thank you very much ellie then from my gran who's here with us in dubai her cousin irene and my mum's very good friend julie they all got me money for christmas which was super kind of them and i think i'm going to put that money towards buying a mic because I really want to do singing videos and quite a lot of you guys have asked me for them so I think I'm going to research the best mic to get and I'm going to put the money towards that and then finally for presents which are not from my parents is from my auntie Aileen she was very generous this year she got me this gorgeous cream jumper from Hollister I'm actually obsessed with it it's kind of a wrap style my flatmate Isabella has a jumper kind of this style and I love when she wears it so I'm really happy with this and it has kind of balloon sleeves and I cannot wait to wear it it's so cozy and I absolutely love it and she also very kindly got me a red lipstick because as you guys know at Erdang a red lipstick will never go wrong this is my favorite one because she watched my videos to find out and it is in Russian red so thank you so much Auntie Aileen I love the presents that you got me and it was very generous of you now onto the presents on this side which are from my parents first I'm going to run you guys very quickly through my stocking this is the stocking that I have had since my very first Christmas it's so 
cute. So first up, these things were all individually wrapped, but I've just popped all the kind of makeup y bits in here. This makeup bag says Brows Before Bros, and it is from Benefit. It's gold on the back and then see-through. My mum said she actually got this for free, but she loves to wrap up absolutely everything. And I'll just show you guys quickly what's inside. They got me my absolutely favourite mascara ever, which is the NARS Climax Mascara. They got me the Benefit Gimme Brow in shade 3, which I'm really enjoying. I actually used it for this video, and it's just really nice nice to use a product that's actually meant for your brows because I literally always use eyeshadow. They got me this Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Oil because I used to use the Clinique Cleansing Balm but mine's now run out so I'm super super excited to try this. They also got me a Clinique High Impact Mascara and I'm really excited to try this and it's a perfect size to take in your handbag. They got me my favourite Clinique Chubby Sticks in Super Strawberry. I think I've had five of these now and they are literally the best thing ever. If you see me wearing something on my lips 99% of the time it's going to be this. They got me this hand cream which was super super thoughtful of them because I actually had this hand cream before and I loved it and it burst in my bag. It is this gorgeous rose scented hand cream so I'm so excited to have this back and that I can use it again. And the last two things in here are an eyelash applicator and it's in this gorgeous rose gold colour and a Huda Beauty Sticky Tacky Lash Glue. Then I have a couple more bits in my stocking. They got me this headband which is, oh gosh, which I think is from Daiso, and it's literally one of those headbands that you put on to take all your hair out of your face for when you're doing your makeup, and I actually used this yesterday, and it was amazing. Then they got me some eyelashes, which are also from Daiso. They're super cheap lashes, but I don't wear lashes very often. If I do, it's only for shows, and these ones work perfectly fine, and there's no point in me spending money on very expensive ones. Then they got me some more chocolate. They got me chocolate-covered dates, which are some of my all-time favourites, and my two favourite, favourite chocolate bars, which is the Lint 34% Hazelnut Dark Chocolate Bar and the Dark Chocolate Caramel Bar, also from Lint. So thank you, Mum and Dad. I loved my stocking. And now on to what you could say are like the main presents, the ones that weren't in my stocking. So they got me this gorgeous box of patchy chocolates, which is obviously all dark chocolates because I can't have dairy and they taste incredible. They got me a replacement for my Clinique Moisture Surge moisturiser. I use this moisturiser every single day. It's a water-based moisturiser which I love because I find creamy moisturisers just feel too thick. I'm obsessed with this and I've actually finished mine. Next up they've got me this gorgeous palette from Sephora. I've never seen this palette before. It is the mixology palette and it has the most stunning colours ever. If you can see these colours they're incredible and they're all grouped into like an eye look which I think is such a good idea. I actually used this for my makeup yesterday on Christmas day and it was amazing. Next up they got me some stationery stuff because I absolutely love stationery. So they got me this gorgeous rose gold notebook from Caroline Gardner and they got me this matching rose gold tiny pencil case. I think this is the cutest thing I've ever seen and it has such a nice print inside it. I think this would be so good just like chucking your handbag if you only want to have like a pen and a highlighter or something. I'm absolutely obsessed with it and of course it matches the notebook which I love. Then to put in the pencil case they got me some of my favourite pens which are from Muji. These are the pens, honestly these are my all time favourite pens anyone who knows me will know that and they also got me one of the plastic tubs to keep them in which is so handy. Now one of I think my favourite presents is this incredible planner. Is this not the best thing you've ever seen? It says big plans 2020 on it and I do have big plans for 2020 so this is incredible and look at the size of it compared to my head. It is from Bando it's a 12 month planner and I am obsessed. It's so stunning. And these are all the different like pictures that you get for each month. It's got a whole week view and then it has a month view for each month. And then there's also a massive space for notes at the back. I am literally obsessed with this planner and I cannot wait to write all my video ideas and all my big plans for 2020 in this planner. Next up is a music book. It's actually one of two music books that they've ordered me. However, one hadn't arrived in time because I do collect music books. This music book is The Prom, which is a new musical and I love the music from it. So I'm super, super happy to have this. And the other one they've ordered me is The Six, the musical music book. However, it didn't arrive in time because my mum actually ordered it on pre-release but it's going to be waiting for me in the UK when I get back. Now I know I've said that some of these presents already were my favourite but I think this might be the winner. As you guys might know if you follow me on Instagram in my bedroom in Dubai I have a big mirror and above it there's a sign that says 
Dubai to London with how many miles and my gran got me it and I've tried to find one that is the other way around for so long to have in my room in London but I couldn't find one and my parents actually managed to get one made for me and it says London to Dubai 3,398 miles and I cannot wait to put this up in my room in London. Now on to some kind of more practical things. I've got two pairs of ballet tights and three pairs of jazz tights because you can never have enough spare tights because I go through them like there's no tomorrow. If you're interested, my favorite, favorite ballet tights are the Capizio ones, the ones with the foothole in the bottom of them. These are the best ballet tights. And to be honest with black tights, I'm not that bothered, but these are from Move Dancewear and they're the footless tights. Keeping with the theme of like dance wear and gym wear, I've got these incredible leggings. They're from Lululemon. I love Lululemon. I actually saw these leggings on Mia Fizz, who is part of the Fizz fam. If you guys don't follow them, you need to follow them. They're literally my favorite family vloggers. And it was either on one of their vlogs or on her Instagram. These are the Under Wonder cropped leggings. However, they're not very cropped on me because I'm short. But they're kind of this faux leather look legging, but they don't feel like that if they're on, if that makes sense, and they are incredible. Next up, I have three leotards, which I actually knew I was getting because I did get to choose them myself. To be honest, I literally haven't had any new leotards since I started Erdine, so it's nice to have a bit of a change up. This is one of the leotards, and it is velvet at the top, has velvet around the neck, and it has mesh arms. My friend Abby actually has this leotard, and I absolutely love it. I am obsessed with it, and I feel like you can also wear it as a top, like you could wear it with jeans or something and it would look like a bodysuit. This is a Morella leotard, however, you can get it on the Block website. I think this one came from Move Dancewear website. And for interest, if you're interested, mine is in a size small and I usually wear a UK size eight to 10, depending on the brand. Next up is one from Move Dancewear as well. This is actually their own brand. This one's slightly more simple. It's just a classic ballet front. And then at the back, I don't know how well you can see it on camera, it has these Crisscrosses at the back, which is good because I will be able to wear this one for ballet, whereas the other one's more for like jazz and tap. And the final leotard is from Block, and it is this long sleeve leotard because I actually didn't have any long sleeve leotards till these two. And it's kind of classic at the front. It has a cutout at the back, but the arms are the best bit. Quite a few people have this leotard, you'll probably recognize it. Down the arms, it has these amazing cutouts, so I'm so excited to get back to college to start wearing these leotards. Next up, I put the kind of clothes that I got all in this Lululemon bag, which I'm assuming that my leggings came in. The first piece of clothing, oh, you're definitely gonna have seen what it is now, is so exciting. I have wanted a Tommy Hilfiger jumper for so long, but I've just never found the perfect one because I wanted a very classic navy blue one with the red and the white logo. Ago. and my mum and I found this in Mall of the Emirates maybe on the 23rd of December I want to say it was actually from Tommy Hilfiger Kids this jumper is age 12 which is crazy but I am obsessed with it and I literally love it so much and I know I'm gonna get so much use out of it next up is a pair of pajamas because all of my pajamas are disgusting so it's these super cute ones from ASOS they have star short bottoms fun fact about me I can only sleep in short pajamas I hate sleeping in long pajamas so even if it's freezing outside I will be wearing shorts and the top says keep your eyes on the stars and it's just this big comfy white t-shirt to go with the shorts and I absolutely love these I can't wait to wear them tonight next up I have a jumper which actually has a bit of a story to it so it's from mint velvet and it's this gorgeous red roll neck jumper and it has this kind of tie detail at the side I actually saw this jumper last Christmas and I said to my mum, I love that jumper. However, at the time it was 350 dirhams and I said, that's ridiculous. We can't spend that on a jumper. And so I didn't get it because I do think that is a ridiculous price. However, my mum told me she saw it this year and it was on sale for 80 dirhams. So that is incredible and makes me love it even more. Next up, I have two tops from Zara. This first one is a black crop top and it has these amazing poofy mesh sleeves with black polka dots on it. Next up is something that I'm really not sure about and I need your guys' opinion. So my mum got me this and I don't know how I feel about it. It is a purple cropped t-shirt, but it kind of is like fluffy. It's kind of got feathers on it. It kind of looks cool on, but also looks weird. So I'm not sure about it. So you guys need to give me your opinion on what you think. It cuts me off at such a nice place. However, I just don't know how I feel about the feathers. And finally, for clothes, I have something very exciting. Now, I've also wanted a Con de Garçon t-shirt for quite a while. I don't know if you guys know that brand, but I'm obsessed with it. And my parents very 
kindly got me the black short sleeve t-shirt with the red love heart. This is the Comme des Garçons branding, the little love heart. And I know I'll wear it all the time because I'll wear it casually with jeans and I can also wear it to college because it is black. And now I've created a massive mess behind me. We're gonna go on to my final two presents. If you guys are enjoying this video so far, please do smash a big thumbs up to let me know. The final two presents are very, very exciting. The first one is this Jo Malone diffuser. Now, all my friends will be able to tell you guys I always have a Jo Malone diffuser in my room. They kind of only last for around six to eight months, so I usually get a diffuser every birthday and Christmas. The Jo Malone packaging is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. So I'm so, so happy with this. My one in London is nearly running out, so I'm so happy to have this back up because my room is just not right without this diffuser. And finally, my main present, which I was not expecting at all, how incredible is the new Louis Vuitton packaging? I don't know if this is just for Christmas, but it is insane. I got a new bag, which I'm so excited about. And actually my friend Zahid apparently got it for my parents in Heathrow Airport. How exciting, oh my gosh. So it's obviously in this amazing box and obviously in this gorgeous dust bag. I wonder if you guys can guess what bag it is. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. And I actually haven't left the house yet because Obviously we spent all of Christmas day at home and it's my dad's birthday today so we're probably not going to leave the house so I haven't been able to use it yet. It is the Alma BB Mini I think it's called. It is the most beautiful bag and it's got the Louis Vuitton check pattern and I just think it is stunning. Okay so I've been filming too long so my camera just stopped but back to my gorgeous bag. It has gold hardware has gold on the bottom and it's also this kind of material is super durable so it shouldn't get scratched or anything. It has the gorgeous Louis Vuitton padlock on it. As I was saying, this bag is a similar size to my Gucci disco bag which I use all the time. However, sometimes I feel black is too harsh for some outfits so the fact this is dark brown is perfect. It has a gorgeous red interior. As I use it, it will loosen up a bit and will open a bit easier. What I really, really love about this bag is it's kind of multi-purpose. You can use it with this top handle as kind of a going out bag as an evening bag and I think it looks amazing or they also have a long handle this is the long handle that comes with it and you basically can strap it on like this I haven't figured out what way I like it yet but it will take me a few times just to figure out how I like it and you just wear it crossbody like this and I am literally of obsessed i love it so so much and i am so grateful and i know i'm super super lucky to get this however i do take great care of my bags and any designer pieces that i have i take amazing care of them because i know if you do take good care of them then they are investment pieces and if you ever need to you can sell them that is going to be it for this video i hope you guys have enjoyed it i hope you like seeing what i got for christmas if you want to let me know anything that you got for christmas please put it down below in the comments because i'd love to find out as i said again thank you so so much for watching and for all of your support over 2019 i cannot wait for 2020 and to be uploading as many videos as i possibly can and growing my channel i can't believe there's already over a thousand of you so thank you very much again for watching this video and i'll hopefully see you soon bye